everyone, welcome back to Vital Healing. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Dr. Tendi DeShort. I am a naturopathic doctor as well as an intuitive healer. So today is day six of the seven day holistic chakra meditation challenge. Today we work on our third eye. This is the space of intuition and knowing. It is also connected to our brain and all of the physiological symptoms of systems of our body. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, today, one other thing that I wanted to talk about is the Lion's Gate. It is August 8th, and in August 8th, there is a perfect alignment of Sirius, the, the closest star to the Earth, the Moon, the Sun, and the um, Orion's Belt. And this perfect alignment shines energy on this very specific, I, don't, I can't say the name, this specific pyramid in Egypt. And it is a time where we connect even bigger and brighter, like a deeper connection to spirit. And as we expand that spirit, it deepens our grounding to the earth. It helps us to find oneness within ourselves as we deepen our connection above and so below. Um, the other really great thing is, is that this is a powerhouse of light that is pouring down on us. So it can feel intense. It is really about that sun star energy of our solar plexus, really expanding all of that beautiful light of who we are and what we want and getting clear vision. At our, at, our, at our third eye. So it's an exceptionally good day to meditate. If you are watching this two years from now, or a year from now, or seven weeks from now, or whenever, just know that you need a little lion gate energy. This is prosperity, this is fertility, this is abundance, this is creativity, this is inner child work. So, we are going to be clearing the lower chakra as we arrive at the third chakra like we've been doing all week. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, look below. This is a seven day Monday through Sunday challenge. Um, so look in the description below, it'll give you more information. But I do want to just really get into it because I try to make these under 20 minutes long. It works a little bit. Um, a message uh, from the Lion's Gate, Two of Swords, focus and direction, right? upside down so the focus and the movement and the direction is either blocked or I, I actually read this as the energy of this beautiful light and higher self spirit is coming down through us getting really focused as it moves down through us a message for us in our solar plexus the magician upside down this is having magic this is having all of your tools, all of your skills. You know who you are, you make it happen. You get, you get centered and focused and you will make it happen. And then a message for our grounding is the high priestess. This is inner knowing. This is the third eye. <laughs> this is her third eye. It is, this is moon. I mean, this is a really beautiful um, set of cards. Underneath it all, ace of pentacles, a new way to operate with our money, with our foundation, with our purpose on this planet earth beautiful so we will clear all of the blocks and we will talk about all the physiology of the third eye but i did want to get into the meditation i really like white chestnut for when i have noisy brain i have a ring of stones i'm holding lapis and i've got a green candle i'm burning sage and i'll be ringing bells when things need extra clearing okay so go ahead and turn on your waterfall like we've been doing all week from your crown all the way down your spine to the tip of your tailbone. And just get your wiggles out. That fan was bugging me, I had to turn it off. So just visualize everything that's just come up for you. Where are you feeling blocked? Where are you feeling blocked in your, in your third eye, in your inner knowing, in your inner wisdom, you as your own inner high priestess or high priest? That's how you identify, right? Take some really nice deep breaths and invite that waterfall to just release any tension, any confusion, anything stuck, 
anything physiologically throughout your entire being that's coming up for you. Because remember, the third eye, it's our intuition, it's our intellect, but it's our brain. Our brain, can, it, it, it operates every system of our body. It keeps us in that homeostasis focus rhythm. So just notice any parts of your body that have been acting up. Maybe your gut's been acting up. Maybe your heart's been feeling the pressure, the tension, the stress, the anxiety. Maybe you've been feeling extra grounded and kind of stuck. Maybe you've been feeling extra ungrounded. We're really focusing on the grounding cord, the solar plexus today, and the heart and the third eye, and a little bit the sacrum just for the extra light of the moon and creativity and high priestess energy. So go ahead and allow anything that just is taking up your energy to fall down the earth. I'm going to put a white no time no space healing rose between us, the stones and the angels and a beautiful um, golden sunshine bubble of light is going to protect us all and hold space for us all. Michael and Raphael are already here helping. And okay, our third, okay, crown chakra is going to be held by this lapis, this indigo blue. Our third eyes are all opening up in a quartz crystal, a clean, clear quartz crystal. Some of you might have citrine, so a little yellow. And Athena, the goddess of inner wisdom, she is actually holding our third eye. And I do have a few, um, uh, um, other meditations that would be really good for you to do today and I will list them below in the description. It's a really good day to get quiet and meditate and really get clear about your purpose, about your internal magic. Oh, I love it. I love this lion's gate. I just love lions. Great. So go ahead and cut that waterfall, wiggle your toes, and let Mother Earth, with her unconditional love, transform all of that energy recycled through the Earth, your energy, raised vibrational, blessed by the Earth, filling up your feet. You might want to wiggle your toes. You might want to spin your feet chakra. Feel the energy filling up your knees, cleansing and purifying your blood, your nervous system, your limbs, all of your like lower limb muscles and ligaments and tendons, anything that feels tight or stuck or inflamed. We will deflame with your own energy carried and blessed by our forever loving Earth Mama. Breathing the energy up into the um, the knees. You know, there's so many different knee issues that can get blocked up and tight. Somebody's got some stuff on their left knee, or some of you. There's some a lot of tightness on the left side today, everybody, that I'm noticing. Um, breathing the energy. And remember, this is no time, no space healing meditation. You could do this 10 years from now. You could do this 10 days from now. It doesn't matter. Breathing the energy up in through the um, upper thighs, uh, the quads, uh, the gallbladder channels of the IT, the hamstring, the inner thighs, the adductor muscles arriving at our grounding. Let's go ahead and let, allow that waterfall to just keep purifying us and cleansing us of any anything that is off, stuck, out of balance, out of rhythm, whether it's mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, and allow the energy to fall down. Keep falling down that mother earth. Wiggle your toes. Cut the waterfall. Do another waterfall. Let's really keep this purifying water going. And uh, Kuan Yin is actually coming through to help us with our spines today. Good, take some really nice deep breaths and let's let's go to the center of our root chakra, right underneath our, our tushes, and we're gonna spin a purifying black tourmaline and a loving high vibrational garnet to spin and reset and create, recreate our foundation on this earth, guided by that high priestess priestess. I just love that energy because it's so intuitive, it's so aware, it's so at peace. There you go. Nice deep breaths, filling up the sacral chakra as we spin a beautiful rose quartz, amber, and orange carnelian. 
really stepping in and getting empowered in our sacrum, balancing the masculine and feminine, the right and the left, really allowing the spinning and glowing energy to own our sacrum, to own our sensuality, our sexuality, our self-care, our self-love, our creativity, our sensitivity, clearing out all that no longer serves and shining that light of light on um, that light of empowered knowing. Beautiful. And just breathe the energy, filling up, cleansing and purifying um, our nervous system, all of the organs of our lower, of our lower belly, all of our reproductive organs, our bladder, our kidneys. Bladder is about fear. That's how I read it. Kidneys are about ancestral stuff. The adrenal glands are all about that fight or flight, adrenaline, cortisol, just stress, worry, anxiety, and how it messes up our blood sugar, how it messes up our, um, our hormones specifically. Good. And then let's arrive at the solar plexus, the energy of the upper belly and the belly button, our will, our determination. Let's really feel all of that beautiful energy of our own internal yellow, bright, fiery light of sunshine, of knowing, of truth, of total commitment to who you are. And remember, all of these videos are, are I'll link them all below, because and they're also in the playlist, because this is all really beautiful, powerful stuff. So spinning that beautiful yellow light throughout your entire abdomen, blessing your entire being with that brightening, that 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 light that gets bigger and brighter and shines even stronger. Oh, our second brain, I knew it in my gut right there you go and then let's breathe the energy up through the diaphragm blessing nourishing massaging the diaphragm breathing the energy up through the spine arriving at the heart chakra spinning you might want to put your hands over your heart taking a deep breath and shining that beautiful emerald green light with some jade and um some green turquoise beautiful Take some really nice deep breaths as we purify the arms, the shoulders, the, the heart protector, the wings, our wings, our shoulders, our shoulder blades, our freedom from our past. Take some really nice, courageous lion heart breaths. There you go. Keep spinning that beautiful green light of, of self-love, of love for other, and of being loved in universal love. Good. And then let's breathe the energy arriving at the throat chakra, calming, relaxing the tension of the, of the upper spine, um, the upper traps, the cervical spine, the base of the skull, the throat, the ears, our glands, our sinuses, our thyroid, our thymus. Good. Spinning that beautiful aquamarine blue that crystalline blue energy of purifying waters as we self-express with love and respect for all. Ah, let's go ahead and take a couple of deep uh, lion's breaths. We're going to inhale four, hold three, exhale six. And anywhere your body needs to exhale something out of your throat, allow it on that exhale. Ready, set, go. Inhale one, two, three, four, hold it, two, three, drop the jaw, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, good, let's do another one, really make some noise, lion's breath, In, ready, set, go, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, great, hold it, two, three, drop the jaw, exhale, make some noise, ah, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good. Our breaths are deepening. Good. This is calming our nervous system. All right, last one. And when we do this, we are going to um, breathe the energy up through the face, the sinuses, the eyes, the skull, and arrive at our sixth chakra. Ready, set, go. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it two, three, drop the jaw, make some noise, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-se
and arrive, Mother Earth, with all of your beautiful intentional energy at the sixth chakra, the space of knowing, the space of intellect, the monkey brain, the brain fog, the exhaustion for empaths seeing too much, not knowing what you see in your third eye, if it is yours or if it is others. The congestion of the third eye chakra, the sixth chakra in the center of the mind, the beautiful sacred space. Let's start kicking everyone and everything, unless you have a kid under the age of 18, kick everyone and everything, all social media, all TV, all newspapers, all everything. Kick it all out of your third eye chakra, of your sixth, sixth chakra space and allow for it to be purified purified and cleansed. And let's bring in the blessing. So I'm actually seeing Kuan Yin and she's using white chestnut in like a beautiful glass spray bottle. It's like this beautiful crystal spray bottle. And it's just beautiful. It's almost looks like purified, like holy water or something. And it's got white chestnut and it's really just like scrubbing the space. She's like vacuuming it. She's sweeping with it. She's cleaning the walls. Good. And so now the space here that's associated with meditation is the pineal gland, but it's actually the entire brain. So it is our intellect. It is our knowing. So let's start filing all of our intellectual knowing and all of our intuitive knowing that is ours, that is valuable for us. Let's start filing it in the back of our third eye chakra space so we can access it. So I like to make it bamboo, but you can pimp it out however you want to do it. But this is going to allow the space to become Zen, to become sacred, to be a space of peace and to allow the brain to reset its physiological homeostatic function in a next step vibration from a place of calm, of wellness, of focus, like that two of wands, of, of focus, of awareness, like the high priestess, and of magic, like the magician. Getting really grounded and centered in the structure of your, of your sixth chakra, your third eye chakra, really getting an awareness and keeping the space clean with only your information that you have permission to have awareness around. And you can use this if you are a healer, you can use this. And again, I'm going to post some links below that can really help with third eye awareness. And also just, you know, so you can, so you can have the insight to help your client without taking on anything, without taking on like that you have to do something, that you have to fix it for them. But this will also help with just keeping the energy clear with family, with friends, with lovers, with partners, with community, with social media, with everything that's going on with the pandemic, everything, the election, all of it, the social injustices that everybody's fighting for. It's like really, really feeling. There's a lot of inner conflict I'm seeing. It's like our brains are split in half. There's a part of us really wanting freedom and there's a part of us still really stuck in the way our, we've operated up until this point. And this is connected to all of our diagnoses, all of our symptom and all of our symptoms. Um, so like, um, I'm used to always having chronic migraines. I'm used to having tension headaches. I'm used to having chronic, um, you know, uh, bronchitis. I'm used to having IBS. I'm used to having really crappy periods. I'm used to feeling heavy and lethargic and not having a great immune system or a metabolic system. Um, I'm really, I've resigned myself that I will just have arthritis always. So really just notice how the body through the brain and through the nervous system, you can let go of these identifications that we, that we wear. I am chronically depressed. I am chronically a loser. I'm chronically a failure. I am chronically this. I am acutely this. Lately, I'm having uh, horrible periods. Lately, I'm having a really tight, nervous gut. 
So I just notice to these parts of ourselves that have been resigned. It's a lot on our left side. So um, the angels are working on this. And all you have to do is just keep breathing, keep being aware, and do those waterfalls. Keep wiggling those toes. Spin your feet chakra. Keep this energy moving. Use the energy of the tarot. Use the energy of the white chestnut. Use the energy of the of the um, lapis. I'm going to burn some sage just to keep this energy clearing. And just with your breath and intention, say, I'm ready for something new. I'm ready to talk to my healthcare provider about something new, about looking at this from a different direction. Maybe you want to find a new healthcare provider or add somebody to your team. Maybe this is about your business. your money, your home, feeling safe in your body. Take some nice deep breaths and let's just keep spinning that beautiful light in a cleansed, purified, upgraded third eye chakra, sixth chakra in the center of our mind. Notice, turn this space into the most beautiful space. You can go outside with it, you can you can make the most beautiful room with it. You could be on a cliff overlooking an ocean. You can be at a pond or a stream. Um, you can be in the middle of a forest, the middle of a field of flowers. You could be in a valley. Take a really nice deep breath and let's spin this beautiful sacred space with this lapis blue and all that beautiful crystalline spirit like cleansing purif purifying crystal spirit and really allowing white chestnut to deepen your connection to the sacred space and let's spin really just spin your brain your nervous system and reset your brain your nervous system and all the systems of your body from the sacred cleanse purified peaceful space with a new awareness, healthy boundaries, and love. Take some really nice deep breaths and just feel that energy filling up and blessing your entire being. So you deepen your knowing, you deepen your connection to spirit, you deepen the connection down your central core channel, deepening your connection to this earth. Take some really nice centering breaths. Ah, thank you so much for joining me today. Comment below, how am I doing? How are these videos doing? How are you doing? Um, and please feel free to share, subscribe to my channel, like, um, comment below and um, turn, on, turn on the notification bell and um, do those other videos or do other videos or meditations, um, create a beautiful altar with intention, um, with everything that you wanna create, everything you're ready to let go of, everything you're ready to create moving forward in your life and um, drink lots of water, hang out by the earth, hang out on the earth um, you can go to my website. It's in the link below. Um, you can sign up for my newsletter and notice all, and you can figure out, you know, see all of my offerings, my private, my private offerings, um, as well as paid offerings and um, and free offerings. Okay, <laughs> I'm a little too zenned up today. I think. <laughs> um, all right. Thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow, Sunday, for our final seventh chakra, our connection to spirit, higher self hope and love. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and happy Lionsgate. Thank you.